Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with the catch carp and course. Been a little while since I've been here. Have to pull a few strings to get this one to work. Apparently, because of my anti virus software, it doesn't want to start, so I have to actually turn it off to even get the game up and running. Now that I've figured that out, I can finally get in here and play this game. At my own risk, but uh, since I'm not going online, it shouldn't be that much of a risk. But I am back here at Loch Mickle. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. It is in Scotland. And one of the reasons I wanted to come here is because, honestly, it's probably my favorite lake so far in this game. This lake is has a lot more species that you don't see in the other lakes, especially when it comes to trout and things, of, you know, salmon, all kinds of other species, not just carp, but I believe there might be carp here too, but I'm not 100% certain. Let me go ahead and come in here because I think I'm going to... What I love about this boat is it has rod holders. That's something that Fishing Sim World does not have. Which does make it a lot more interesting so I can fish for other things while I'm fishing for other species. Pretty fast boat. I'm seeing a lot of fish down there, so I think I'm going to go ahead and fish, switch the fishing here. Alright, now what have I got gear-wise? Let's see, I have swim bait roach, bait shack wiggler pink. Uh, do I have? Yes, I do have it mixed. That's what I was hoping. So I've got... Chicken livers, pop up tiger nuts, and it looks like I've got something else here that I can work with. Yep, strike pole, flapjack, clown. Let's see if I can put something in here like a spinner, though. Since it's sunny, let's go with that. Probably ought to go with a little bit lighter line. Maybe 15 pound. And then I can throw in a couple of bottom rods while I'm at it. I'm not seeing a whole lot of activity here. Let me let me see what I can do here. One thing I don't have to do is pick up the rods. Let's go find some cover. I see a lot of big fish down there. It's just Okay, now I'm seeing movement. This looks like a good spot. Let's try. Yeah, we're actually seeing mo movement over there. And this sinks... Holy crap! 
I guess that was a smart move. I barely tossed it in. Yeah, I'm seeing all kinds of fish over here, jumping. Okay, I need to take that. Come on, fish. I got... Both my other rods got something on them. All right, I think I got him. Well, I thought I had him. Come on. Damn, this guy is... Holy terror. We got him. We got him. What do we got here? Rainbow trout. Nice one, too. Ooh, a rare one. Specimen fish. See what else we got out here because we got something. This fish has been swimming around for about 15 minutes. What have I got here? Ooh, cool. It's an eel. Awesome. Got him with white maggots, huh? And we got one on number three. Okay. Looks like we got some kind of carp here. Damn, it's good size. He's certainly hanging on. I got him, though. Yep, mirror carp. Common variety, 17 pounds. Not bad. Well, that's pretty cool. Got something on every pole. Well, let's see. Let's see if we see any more movement. Well, I was seeing plenty of it. I'm just going to toss it right back out where it was. I'm surprised I was able to get something off of every one. There's definitely some splashing going on over there. Ah, damn it. To recast it. Thing's super, super sensitive. Yeah, it was just sinking when that thing bit that time. Uh, 
I'm going to take the speed down just to... Whoop. Well, they definitely go for that swim bait, and I've already got one of number three now. Shoot. Those daedra worms, they really go for that. A lot of different things go for that. Yeah, the key thing here is you got to look for movement. You might see them on the fish finder that I, movement on, on the surface of the water is much more sure thing. Looks like a chub. And I'm getting another one on number two. Yeah, you can't really jerk the rod that easily like you can in Fishing Planet. And most of these, looks like I'm getting some smaller ones right now, which is fine. Another eel, cool. Those eels definitely go for those white maggots. Eight? No, a ten. Let's go a little bit bigger. Let's try... I wish I had a six. Yep, there they are. Yeah, six. Might get me a little bit bigger. I'd like to see if I can get a bigger eel than that. There we go. I don't know what this is, but he sure attacked it pretty hard. Got a nice perfect strike. Trout. Oh, hook slipping. These guys fight pretty darn hard. There we go. Now, what kind of trout is this? It's a ferrex trout. Common size. Definitely getting some activity here. The trout are active, and they really are going for those swim baits.
Whoa. Sounds like I got one on one of my other rods. Let's see, which one is it? Number three. Book is slipping, so we gotta hurry up with this one. Damn, what kind of fish is this? That's another carp. Come on. Yeah, we got him. Now that's a that's a real pretty mirror carp. Yeah, he's real pretty. I love the way his scales go along his lateral line. Well, we're about to pass another level here. Took a little while for him to go for it though. Surprisingly enough. I think I'm going to bring number two in and cast it elsewhere, maybe over this way. Finally. Whoa. Not sure why this is on so rough. This is probably a specimen fish, just judging from how hard it is to get it to even move. I think it's some kind of trout. I think it's a rainbow trout. Boy, he is... No? Well, maybe not. It's hard to... He looked a little golden when he got in the sunlight. We'll see soon enough. Damn, this is a big fish. Yeah, he's a rainbow trout. Nice, nice one. Yep, he is a rare specimen fish. Very nice. And we've got something on one of our other rods. The third one. 
And the hook is slipping like crazy, whatever this is. I think we got us another carp. I think we have one on the second one too, but I think he got off. Holy crap. Okay, this is a good sized fish too. What have we got? He isn't coming to the surface. Okay, we got him. What is this? Oh, wow. It's a mirror carp, but... No, it's a leather carp. I'm sorry. It's common variety, but he's a good size. He just didn't give... I mean, he didn't jump. He didn't come to the surface like they usually do. Well, that's not a bad fishing trip. What I like about this is... This lake so much is that there's so many varieties of species, and I can do di you know the different types of fishing. I don't have to just fish off the bottom or just you know spin casting. I can do a little of both. Keep it interesting. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll be back with another episode of the Catch Carp and Course. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.